everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means so much to me, so I hope you'll help me out. Today we are unboxing my second P9 Speedy. So in case you missed my last unboxing, it was this P9 Speedy in this amazing color. So this is a size 40 Speedy um, and it's the Pharrell um, collection in the leather. Um, so I will link that video down below in case you missed it. Um, so I got this one, this one came first, but I also ordered a second one from the same runway and I was waiting for that to come in because it came in at a different time. So it has now arrived. It is in this box right here. So smaller box. So straight off the bat, you know, it's going to be a smaller size than the 40. Um, but I actually went into store to collect this one. Um, the pink one was shipped out to me by a same day courier. Um, and then and this one I went into store to pick it up from my sales associate and my sales associate said hey would you like to vlog unboxing it in the store and I was like I didn't think I was allowed to do that and so there were some parameters set about um, where I could film um, and he was allowed to be in it so I'm going to insert here a vlog of that day there's a little bit of footage um, in what was in the VIP room that I was in at the time and then we'll have Peter, my fabulous sales associate, there to unbox this with me. So you'll see it um, and meet Peter, who is um, one of my favorite people in the world. He is just the loveliest, loveliest man. We get on so well. Um, I really appreciate him as a person, not just as a sales associate. And I call him a friend. And I know that there's a lot of um, mixed feelings about whether you should befriend your sales associates or not. And I'm, a, I'm terrible at that. I tend to befriend them. That's just who I am. Him. Um, but yes, I would call Peter my friend most certainly. Um, and I was super stoked that he agreed to be in the video and gave you guys a chance to meet him. And he gave me some really um, valuable information in that vlog. So I'll insert that here and then I'll come back and unbox the um, bag here in person with you guys. And we can compare it to the size 40. So have fun. So I'm here in the Louis Vuitton VIP room because um, I'm here to pick up my new Speedy uh, P9. Um, but I thought I'd show you around the room because there's lots of goodies here. So let's spin you around. So first off, little macarons and there's going to be champagne. That's my Speedy over there. Some goodies to look at. A necklace. And then all the new men's stuff is on display because it's just launched. Look at this jacket. This is very cool. And these boots, I do actually really love these boots. Um, and then we have this jacket, which was from the runway and another pair of boots, some clothes. And if we swing around over here, What do we think of this? I feel like it's far too big for me. Beautiful. But yeah, just, just a little bit too big. So maybe a no to that. And we have black on black. That's very cool. The Go 14 black on black very pretty so we're here at Louis Vuitton in the VIP room this is my fabulous Hi. sales associate <laughs> Peter who I always talk about and I thought I'd unbox this while he was here so this is my P9 Speedy and Peter's one that told me all about what the P9 actually stands for so we're at Grill and the Point North Bridge and all the other connotations there were which I put in my other video if anyone is interested so are we going to unbox my P9 Speedy? I'm very excited. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> no. He's wrapped it up nicely and I'm sure he will wrap it for me before I go. And I know a lot of you have guessed the colour. So let's have a look and see what colour it is. I've got tissue paper. And we have 
The turquoise. Yes, a lot of you were very much correct. It's the turquoise. So I'll show you this um, in more detail uh, after this segment. Um, but you can see that you've got the uh, Louis Vuitton all embroidered in the turquoise, and it's so pretty. And we're going to open it up. Have you seen this yet? I have. <laughs> <laughs> this one didn't pretty. help. I the pink, I the pink, I, I didn't even dare to look at. But the the, the turquoise, I couldn't help myself this time. Around. Peter's very good at um, making sure that nobody else sees it, but he hides <laughs> them away. Oh, look at the car. It smells so good. <laughs> as soon as you open it, you get that smell of leather. <laughs> Are we ready? Oh my god, it's so pretty. <gasps> look, look at that car. <laughs> it came up really well in the pictures, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. Like it, it went true to colour from what we saw walk the runway, which we don't always get, I've got to say. Sometimes the colour of gradient's a little bit different in the photos, but this is actually very much exactly the same colour. It's so soft. So soft. So squishy. <laughs> I love that you hug them. It's, like, it's so cute. It's like a child. <laughs> <laughs> they are my children. They are all my children. And then inside we have, of course, oh, the strap. And this is all treated BBN. And what do you call it? Do you, because there's, con there's, conversation on the internet about what this is called. Now, mm. I call it BBN because mm -hmm. when we went to Louis Vuitton to Anya, that's what the craftsmen call it, the yep. BBN. But everybody on YouTube either calls it Vichetta or mm -hmm. Vichetta. What do you call this in store? I call it Vivian. Yeah. yeah. Vivian, Vivian, tomato, tomato. Yeah. Um, I don't think either are incorrect in terms of what your preference is, whether you call it Vichetta leather yeah. uh, or, or Vivian. But I think... In the true French style, we will call it Vivienne as right. well. If, if Anya have said Vivienne, <laughs> then, then uh, the Church of Louis Vuitton has spoken. So, <laughs> so we all bow down to <laughs> church, that's what they said. The and gospel according to LV is Vivian. So. Correct. Uh, and of course, it's got the little pillow in it, which is very cute and great touch. And we have the pochette and the other bit that's going to be somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. And it's all leather lined, like my other one. Mm. And then this is a much smaller pouch. So the pink, pouch. the pink one was bigger. So this is probably a little bit bigger than a clay. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. So just about. So I feel like you did clays, the Murakami clays. Does that help? Oh, there you go. Oh, there yeah. you go. So that's a standard credit so card. So that's a card yeah. next to it. So yeah, I feel like the Murakami clays were about that size. You tell me. But yeah. You do better than me. <laughs> Murakami's before Peter's time. Yes. Although word on the street is maybe not. He might be here for Murakami. He can't say. <laughs> And in fairness, sometimes I tell him things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we've got the little pouch in the same colour. I love that I have two pouches in two different yeah. sizes. And if I were to say, um, be ordering one in a different size, <laughs> um, there is a chance that that pouch would also be a different size, would it not? Stay tuned. <laughs> yes, stay tuned for that because it is entirely possible there might be a third one coming. We think. Yes. And then we've got, oh, uh -oh. Okay. We'll um, and then we've got the little lock and key also in a bag that is in the same colour. So I will spend some time with you guys live, well, taping after this, and we'll go through this bag. But I wanted Peter to be here for this. I want you guys to meet Peter because I love Peter. He's one of my favourite people in the world. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much That's for pleasure. being here for this. And thank you for getting this for me because he works very hard when I send him photos and say, can I have this? And he's like, yes, you can. And then he just <laughs> makes it happen. So Have you found the Easter egg on it yet as well? Oh, the Easter egg. Yeah. So... Well, not Easter egg, but a term uh, used to, for a surprise. Yes, so they come with little pictures. And I didn't get this on my pink one. No, I can't get it off. So on my pink one, I didn't show you guys because I didn't know it was there. And then after I did the taping and the unboxing, Peter's like, have you found it? And I was like, what am I looking for? Is it that side? Is it the other side? Oh, it's the other side. Yeah. So on the end, and I'll, I'll show this more closely when I'm taping at home, there's a little horse underneath. And my other one had a horse on mm -hmm. it as well. Is yeah. that going to be specific to the runway that it Correct. came from? Yeah, so yeah. before Winter Collection, um, this was all inspired by, by Native America and Western uh, culture from, from America. So yeah, there's a lot of cowboy motif or horse motif throughout the fall winter collection as well. Excellent. So yeah, so my pink one also has the little horse on it. And if I were to say be getting another one from another collection, then we will wait and see what picture comes along <laughs> with that. But yay, I love it. And um, 
it so, just so happens that we have an event in a week here, which I might vlog a little bit of, and uh, there's a very good chance I might actually wear this to that event, which Peter, would make Peter very happy yes. because he's <laughs> like, I need to wear it. So, yeah, I will cross back to me in my bag room. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for having me. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that little vlog and meeting Peter. Um, he is always linked in my description box down below in case you want to go follow him over on Instagram. Um, you can message him over there, especially if you're local. He's an amazing sales associate, works out of the Sydney flagship store on George Street. Um, so please go follow Peter. He's just um, a lovely, lovely person. I am so grateful to him for setting up that ability to be able to film at Louis Vuitton and also for agreeing to be in my video. So here's the box he did it back up for me you guys obviously know what's in it now because you've just seen so let's get it out and i can compare it to the size 40 for you guys so it's so beautiful oh there we go look i'm not gonna lie I was on the bandwagon of these speedies are not worth it like why would we spend this kind of money on a speedy and now i have two um and maybe there's a third coming. Maybe. Um, I'm I'm on board. I get it. I understand um, why, A, they're so expensive and B, how amazing they are. Do I think they're worth the money I'm currently, like, we're paying for them? Nothing ever is. Um, and there's people who get in my comments all the time and go, you spend all this money, they're not worth it. Like, they're worth, like, a fraction of that amount of money. Yeah, I know. I'm not stupid. I understand that these things are not actually made for this amount of money. But I also don't think that they're worth the amount... They're made for the amount of money you think they're made for either because no one ever takes into consideration the overheads of running a business. And as somebody who owns a company, that's common. People miss all the overheads that go with running a business. Um, it's incredibly expensive to keep lights on and insurance and IP, so intellectual property and all the legal aspects of that. So yeah, it's not as simple as the materials cost this much, so that's how much the bag is worth. That's not how business works. You know, there's rent and um, there's not just sales associates, there's management. So yes, I understand they're not worth what we're paying for them, but I also don't think they're worth what just the raw materials are worth and the artisan to make them. So I think there's some middle ground there, but I'm not stupid. I understand. I understand they're not worth this amount of money, but I gotta say, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. So this is the 25 in the turquoise, as you've seen in my vlog. And as we show, I don't know if it came up on the vlog because I haven't edited that yet. So I'll just show you guys. So these have the little stamps on them. So there's a little horse there because that's the collection it came from. My pink one, which I didn't know about at the time I unboxed the pink one, also has the same little horse there because it's the same collection. Now, the only person I know who has one of these from the first uh, round of these speedies is Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet. So Amelia, I am tagging you because I would like to know what is on the little tag of yours, please. What little um, picture is under there? I think Peter might have mentioned an owl or a bird or I don't know. So can you let us know in the comments down below what little picture yours has on it? Because I think that's really interesting. And future... Um, collections with these speedies will have other pictures so I thought that's really cool so I mean straight off the bat 40 25 obviously 25 centimeters across the bottom 40 centimeters across the bottom travel bag handbag very different I mean this could be a, ha a handbag if you really wanted it to but oh my god would it be heavy to carry all the time so open it up and of course we have the crossbody strap. Now I have a Louis Vuitton event coming up this week. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to vlog it, but there'll be photos that go with that over on Instagram. So if you want to see the photos, they'll be over on Instagram. If you want to follow me there. Um, and I think I'm going to, and I'm going to take this bag because it's a, the release of this collection. So I know what I'm going to wear and this bag's going to come with me. Um, so, oh, there's the fabulous pillow that they give you. And the little tag which Peter is telling us to keep 
Uh, and if anyone's interested, this is lambskin leather on the inside. This is what Peter told me. I don't think he told me in the blog. I think he told me after I'd stopped filming that the inside is actually lined in lambskin leather and it is super soft. So yeah, that makes perfect sense. And then the little pouch. So I wanted to get to the little pouch because I wanted to do a size comparison for you guys. So this is a... Uh, so this is a classic clay and this is the pouch so you can see that it's definitely bigger than your classic clay but I was interested in where's my Murakami one there it is so this Murakami piece that I have I was interested to see yes exact same size so that's what I thought it was going to be based on size wise. So these from the Murakami collection, which are not clays, they have a different name, which name escapes me at the moment, but this is the same size as that. So it's definitely bigger than a standard clay, which is awesome. And then how does it stack up next to the size 41? Well, let's get the size 40 pouch out and have a look. So this is the size 40 pouch, and then this is the pouch that came with the 25. They both have LV on the um, zipper pulls. And they both have lambskin lining as well, by the way. They, this one has the big chain and this one has a smaller chain, same style but, but just less chunky. Also lambskin lined, so they've carried the lining all the way through. And if I hold them up together... 40, 25. So you can see much, much different, but you would expect that. Um, and if you were to buy one in a different size, not a 25 or a 40, so you were to get a 30 or a 35, I imagine the pouches will get progressively bigger from this to this. So I'm happy to have two in different sizes. I actually really love the pouches. I think they're a fantastic addition for this amount of money that you get them, that they are pure, that they are completely leather and they are still lambskin lined. So they've really spared no expense with these. They've carried all the details through no matter what. So I'm really impressed that they did that and that this isn't just you know a um a like a material lining or a microfiber lining inside that they've still done the lambskin lining so i'm really happy about that and how cute how gorgeous is this color seriously i can't get over this color these colors like i'm just amazed yes there was a purple and yes i did also consider the purple but the purple was a very dark purple if it had been slightly lighter then i probably would have been sold on it but look we've had three collections where these speedies have walked the runway and they are obviously doing new sizes and new colors all the time so i'm of the opinion that i'll hang about and wait on a purple that i actually really love and not just take the first purple that comes out um, same with the green i really love green the first green was a little bit jarring for me the green that just walked the runway which was like a sorbet green color um, a lemony lime color i'll insert a picture if i can find one I really loved that as well, but the sizes it came in, I think it did come in a 25. Did it come in a 25? Might have come in a different size. Um, anyway, I'll insert some um, information down the bottom about what sizes that green came in, but it was just a little bit too um, yellow based for me. I know what green I'm looking for and if it comes up, I'll definitely buy it, but I'm of the opinion these speedies are going to continue to roll out every season. So. I have time I can hang about and wait and see what else is going to come um, and just buy colors that you know uh, I really really want I'm not gonna buy them all they're far too expensive for that and I know you guys all want to know how much this cost this 25 speedy this one was everybody sit down you're gonna need to fourteen thousand three hundred dollars um so i paid a 60 percent deposit on that when it walked the runway six months ago and then i paid the balance um probably about three three weeks ago now maybe a month ago um and so it paid out in two parts which in a lot of ways is a way to make you um it kind of lulls you into a false sense of, oh, it's not that bad because you pay it in two parts. But when you see the big number at the end, you go, oh, that's a lot of money. So yeah, not cheap, but so beautiful. It's just so squishy. It's so squishy and I love it. So yeah, that is my newest P9 Speedy. For anyone who is interested in uh, what the P9 stands for, I did it in my very first video, which is linked down below for you guys. Um, and yeah, thank you to my special guest,
guest Peter for joining us today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed having him along for the ride. And yeah, you'll have to wait and see what Speedy is coming next. Because maybe, maybe, just maybe, there's a third one. <laughs> if you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I upload videos, which is usually twice a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.